Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have something super exciting to share with you guys. I got the cutest, the cutest PR package yesterday and it is the Life's a Festival collection from Too Faced. And I wanted to share this look with you guys and show you how you can achieve it using this collection. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on it. I'm gonna show you how they swatch, how they look on the eyes. I'm literally doing everything. So if you wanna see swatches of all the products, then definitely keep on watching. So the collection is in collaboration with with country music star Ray Lynn. I know exactly who Raylin is. I am a really big fan of her. I love her music. She actually wrote a song inspired by this collection. It's called Festival. You guys gotta check it out. This collection is based around festival season and the makeup in kind of like the makeup style you see during festivals. Also based upon unicorns and magical mythical creatures. You have a bunch of lipsticks you guys will see. We have like angel tears, fairy tears, mermaid tears, unicorn tears. Like, oh my gosh, it's everything I love. All right, so if you guys wanna see this whole collection on my face, if you wanna see how I got this look, then please keep on watching but before we do that be sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you can be a part of the VLB squad and without further ado let's jump right in all right you guys so I have my foundation on I have my brows on this is the life's a festival eyeshadow palette and I think it is literally so cute let's talk about the packaging this packaging is amazing I love the unicorns I love the rainbows the stars the palette retails for $42 on the Too Faced website and there is 13 shades inside this palette one of the shades is called unicorn Corn tears and it is a highlighter so you can use it on your eyes or on your face which I think is really cool I am like obsessed with this eye look they did on Ray Lynn that's what I'm gonna do on myself today I'm so inspired by this photo this is so perfect I love it she's like a blonde unicorn sister like I feel like I can definitely do this look I'm gonna go ahead and prime my arm using the Too Faced shadow insurance this is a 24-hour creaseless primer the reason why I'm swatching with the primer is because I never ever use eyeshadows without a concealer base or a primer. Here's another quick look at the palette. It's so cute. So I'm kind of gonna go in a sloping section here. I'm gonna start at the top row and I'm gonna move down. So the first shade we have is called Young and Free. The next shade we have is called Rainbow Life. The next shade we have is called Sunset Dream. This is Fun in the Sun, Fireflies, Fun to See. So this one is almost like a matte in a way. Next we have Dusk Teal Dawn. Ooh, oh my gosh, I love it. So next we have Euphoric and then we have Desert Vibes. This is the matte. I would say this is like the transition color in the palette. We have Beeman, pretty. We have Mystic Rain. That's more of like a soft kind of duochrome pink. This last one is called Artist Pass, which I think is so cute because it kind of goes with the festival theme. Ooh, that one is insane. Wow, that one's pretty too. That's like a duochrome, kind of like a brownish blue. So next up, we're gonna swatch Unicorn Tears, which is the highlight in the palette. Ooh, this kind of has like a bluish, kind of lavender tint to it. Here's a good look at the highlight. It has a really pretty, very magical tone to it. There's like a purple in there, a blue. It's mostly white, but I think it would look really magical for a festival look. You can totally see in the light as the light moves and as you move your hand with it, it kind of shifts from being like a white into like a bluish purple, which makes the skin look kind of wet too. So the first shade I'm gonna pick up is Young and Free because I could see in Raylan's look here, there is a pink in the crease, so I wanna pop in the matte pink first. We didn't care what we looked like Dripping in sweat and desert vibes We didn't care who was watching the color payoff is really good on this pink. I feel like it's really nice and bright and it's a really pretty color. Next, I'm gonna pick up the shade Fireflies and this is the green, so pretty. And I'm just gonna keep it like in the outer corner of the eye. I'm not really gonna touch the lid because I wanna put fun in the sun on the lid. I think that's definitely what they did for her look. I'm gonna pick up the product on my brush and I'm just gonna wet it with some Fix Plus because I wanna see if this gets even more metallic. Oh yeah, okay. Also wetting your brush works so much better when you just wet it. Oh. Didn't mean to spray you there. I literally just sprayed you. Wet your brush with the product already on it because it makes a difference. It's a lot better than like wetting it and then dipping in. You mix the water, whatever you're using the spray into your product and it will actually ruin your product. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm gonna take some concealer. This is from Kat Von D. And I'm gonna go ahead and white out the front of my lid. I like to do this because it really makes my lid pop and it makes colors pop on top of it because this is a white concealer. And I just like to take a brush and pat the white concealer in. And now I'm gonna pick up the shade Fun in the Sun, which was probably one of my favorites that I swatched. And I'm just gonna pop it right on the front of the lid. So now I'm gonna grab Dusk Teal Dawn, and this is the blue that is in the palette. I'm gonna wet my brush, and I'm gonna create like a wing just on the outer bit of the eye. When I'm working with shadows as eyeliner, I like to go in on an angled brush like this. You could use an eyebrow brush, anything like that. You can even use a lip brush. And I'm just gonna drag that color up, and this gives a really clean line. Wow, this works so good as an eyeliner. I'm not experiencing a ton of fallout either. Now I'm gonna grab the shade Rainbow Life and this is more of like a peachy color. I would say it's like a peachy pink. I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna put this right in between the light pink and the green in the crease. And now I'm gonna grab Unicorn Tears, which is the highlight in this palette, and I'm gonna place it right into the brow bone. I wanted to incorporate it in this eye look because it's so pretty. This might be one of my favorite colors in the palette because right above the pink, it literally looks purple. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna pop on the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, and then we're gonna work on the bottom lash line. I'm also gonna put on some false lashes too because I noticed in the photo of Ray Lynn, she has blue eyelashes. So I'm gonna do my best to create some blue falsies. I didn't think I had blue mascara, but I went looking through my body painting drawer and I found this Ben Nye mascara and it's blue. It's electric blue. So I'm going to go ahead and do some blue lashes. We didn't care what we looked like, dripping in sweat and desert Okay, blue lashes are on. One more thing, I really wanna add Rainbow Life, this color. It looks like she had quite a bit of this color, just like right in the inner part of her eye. Packing it right underneath my brow in the front of the eye. Super easy way to clean up your eyeshadow is to use concealer. And after you're done with your eyeshadow look on the top, on the top of your lid, you can use your concealer to drag it against your wing and bring it all the way up so it's super clean. Next, I'm going in with this eyeliner from Makeup Geek. It's purple and it's in the shade Orchid. I'm gonna line my waterline with this. To blend on the lower lash line, I'm gonna grab Mystic Rain and Fantasy, and I'm just gonna blend that on the lower lash line. Going back in with Mystic Rain, I'm going to heavily pack this on the lower lash line. I feel like the lower lash line in her picture is a lot lighter, like it's a lot lighter of a purple than what I just put, so I'm gonna Add this on top. Ooh, that is really pretty. Oh my gosh. This color, Mystic Rain, it looks purple in the pan, but when you apply it on top of other colors, it's almost like a transforming color. So I'm gonna pick up Unicorn Tears. This is the highlight in the palette. And I'm just gonna go over everything again with this. I'm just gonna lightly wing this out on the lower lash line. To finish off the inner corner, I'm gonna grab Fun in the Sun, which is the gold color. I would say it's like a gold, it's so pretty. I think this is definitely my favorite in the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and place that just right in the inner corner of the eye. Okay guys, so the eyeshadow was put to the test. This is the final look of the eyes using the palette. I'm in love with the way this came out. And I feel like it really complements the palette. Like it looks so good with the packaging. It's like a rainbow on my eyes. Now onto the bronzer. The bronzer was something that I was the most excited about just because I use bronzer every day. And I've been using the chocolate gold bronzer since I got it in November. I've been using it like almost every single day and it's my favorite. Too Faced makes my favorite bronzers. So when I saw this, I was really excited about it. It has a purpley kind of pink looking unicorn inside. I, I love it. I think the print is so cute. So the bronzer says, for the the first time ever we've combined the effects of the warm bronze of sunlight, the ethereal glow of moonlight, and the twinkling effect of starlight together for a unicorn of a bronzer and a festival glow like you've never seen. So in this bronzer they combine something that is kind of like a highlighter and a bronzer mixed. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick up some of the product. The unicorn definitely isn't an overspray, that actually is a purple shade that's in here. I just wanted to be clear about that and if you look on the brush there is a hint of like a purple in there so let's see. Ooh, that is really pigmented, okay. I 
It smells good. I just realized that it actually smells really good. Hold on. This smells good. I'm curious if the eyeshadow palette is scented too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I just smelled the bronzer as I was applying it. <laughs> Short pause here. And then I smelled the eyeshadow palette and this shade Beeman right in the center is scented with citrus. So this palette here smells kind of like a tangerine, kind of like a very citrusy smell. The bronzer smells like marshmallow in my opinion. It has like a warm marshmallow scent to it. It doesn't say that it's scented, but it definitely smells like kind of like candy or marshmallows. I like how the bronzer almost has like a reddish, kind of like a reddish undertone to it. It's more of like a copper. Okay, so the bronzer is amazing. I love it. I love, love the bronzer. I actually kind of love it more than the chocolate gold because this one does have a highlight in it. It has that purple color in the center, the unicorn, and I can see it on the skin. If you do look closely after you've applied it, you can see it has a sheen of like a purple which I think is really pretty. That's that ethereal vibe they're saying that it gives. All right, so let's talk about the highlighters from this collection. Too Faced launched three highlighters with the Life's a Festival collection. We have the Rainbow Strobe Rainbow Effect Highlighter. This all over magic highlighter is the ultimate color strobe fantasy for a true rainbow effect. Pick up the product from left to right with a flat, dense brush and apply in one single stroke or swirl the colors together for an effortless prismatic effect. We have the Unicorn Tears Unicorn Horn Mystical Effects Highlighter sticks. We have the shade Unicorn Tears and Unicorn Dreams. Unicorn Tears is a blue and Unicorn Dreams is more of a, like a rose gold pink. So this is Unicorn Dreams swatched on the back of my hand. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is like a rose gold cream. I have it swatched on my wrist too. So you can see here the sheen is like glossy. So here we have the Unicorn Tears highlighter and this is like a blue i'm curious how this will look swatched but look at that horn swatch it right next to the other one so you can see the difference in these two unicorn tears is more of a bluish purple kind of like a lavender highlight it's very pretty and magical and then unicorn dreams is definitely more so like an everyday creamy rose gold highlight i would wear it any day i don't know about you guys but i could totally wear that rose gold like any day the blue is very magical so i'm gonna go ahead and use both i'm gonna warm this up with my fingertips and just apply it with my fingers because i don't want it to mix with my foundation i didn't set my foundation because i knew i was going to use these cream products that's a pretty nice glossy finish. I just want to tap this in with my fingers because on the other side I rubbed it in and it was mixing with my foundation. So I think tapping it in is much better than just kind of like going like this on your face. Okay, so that's Unicorn Tears. This is more of like an icy, more magical type of highlight. You cannot see it as purple on camera, but it's definitely more purpley blue in person. So now I'm going to go in with Unicorn Dreams, which is the rose gold. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply this from the stick onto my forehead. Ooh, okay. So this is definitely more of a natural color. This highlight is definitely more of a wearable everyday type of highlight so if you're looking to get something from this collection you can wear any day not just to a festival or for a fun look this one is very very natural looking like very i can see it on my skin but it almost looks like a gloss on the forehead i also would recommend you guys that these types of highlighters look so good on bare skin so if you can just do concealer and then put this on you're going to get a lot more color payoff than what you see here because i applied this over foundation it's not going to look as good as it would if you put it on your bare skin it looks so much better with just concealer and then popping these on i have a few highlighters that are similar like this they're in a stick form and those always apply better on bare skin but i do like them i'm going to use them as kind of like a base for this rainbow highlight that I'm going to show you guys. We're going to be using the Magic Rainbow Strobing Brush. Meet the VIP of festival season. This brush is the ultimate high profile way to get the perfect strobe highlight and multi-dimension glow. High impact highlighting brush. So this is shaped in a very flat way. It's like the color of the Unicorn Tears lipstick. It's basically the same color. We're going to go from left to right. Oh, oh wow, okay. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can totally see a rainbow. Okay, I'm gonna do another rainbow. Yeah. 
Mixing them together is actually really pretty too, and I feel like if you do mix it together, you can use this more every single day rather than doing like a rainbow highlight. This is one of the few rainbow highlights I've used that don't make my face look dark. Like obviously the darkest color is the blue, but I like it, I think it's really cool. So next we have a whole lot of lipsticks, like tons. We have lip toppers, we have angel tears, mermaid tears, fairy tears, and then we have unicorn tears. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of them, you guys. So here is unicorn tears. So I'm gonna swatch all of the lipsticks for you guys and toppers. Here is unicorn tears. So pretty. I can't get over it. It is so pretty. My favorite. We have angel tears. We have fairy tears. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, so these are definitely transforming lipsticks. This looks almost gold in the tube, but it's actually pink when you apply it to the lips or the arm or if you're swatching it. Beautiful. And then we have mermaid tears. Oh, wow. So that's like a dark purple. I feel like that's like the dark version of unicorn tears. So here are all the La Cream lipsticks swatched, and now I'm gonna swatch the toppers. So here is the unicorn tears lip topper. It is basically the lipstick in a more sheer gloss. Here is angel tears. Here is fairy tears. So the lipstick is actually way more pink than this. This is more of a bronze lip gloss, more of a champagne color. Here is the Mermaid Tears lip topper. Mermaid Tears is definitely the darkest color and it is the most pigmented shade out of all of them. All of the shades swatched. So I think in this photo she's wearing Unicorn Tears. So I'm gonna do Unicorn Tears with the topper over the top of it. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with the topper. You can use these toppers on their own, like if you're into glosses, you could use this by itself or you could put it over the top of the lipstick. The very last thing we will be using today is the Festival Refresh Mystical Effect Setting and Refreshing Spray. It says this mystifying makeup setting and refreshing spray is infused with opalescent pearls for all over sparkling illumination, helps refine pores and improve skin texture while rose quartz powder adds some love energy to your makeup. Ooh, okay, so it actually has powder in it. I wonder if this is kind of like the peach mist, the mattifying mist. I'm gonna show you guys the side of the bottle because all of the powder is actually resting at the bottom and when you shake it up, there's a ball inside, so you gotta shake it. Cause there is a powder. Ooh, you see that? So inside you can see all of the powder mixing in with the spray and it gives like an opal tint to it. So this should make our face look really glowy. One thing you wanna make sure you do when you use this is you wanna shake it so that the ball inside mixes all the powder in with the liquid. If you don't shake it, the powder can start to clog the spray at the top and you won't be able to spray your face if you don't shake it. So make sure that you do. The packaging is really beautiful. I love the gold up here. It is so pretty, I love this. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. This has a citrus smell. It smells like summer is how I can describe it. It doesn't smell like coconut or anything. It has like a scent of like a mixture of candy or possibly like pineapples or oranges. I feel like it's very citrusy and I love it. It is really refreshing. It smells amazing. I literally love this so much. I really love it. I feel like it melted down a lot of the powders that are on my face. And overall, I really like this. There is no glitter in it, so you're not going to get any glitter on your face. And I just see a glow to my skin. I really love the way this smells, though. It smells really good and feels really good on my skin. All right, you guys, my look is complete, and I'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts on this collection. I really loved the eyeshadows. I thought they blended really nicely. These are duochrome shades, so there isn't a lot of mattes in this palette. Palette, so if you're not used to that, you may not enjoy it as much as someone like me. I really do love all the duochromes in here. With a palette like this, you don't have to really mix as many colors as I did, 
but you can actually go in individually with one of these colors or two and you can get a really beautiful look. I feel like this palette is really summery. It is also really centered around festival makeup. And if you're familiar with festival makeup, you know it's loud, it is glittery, it is super metallic and it's definitely not everyday makeup. I love looks like that and I think that palettes like these are really fun. And I was going to purchase this even before they had sent it to me because I loved it. A great thing about this palette is that it does have a highlighter in it. So if you don't purchase any other highlighters from the collection, you are gonna get one in this palette and it can work as an eyeshadow or a highlighter, which is really great. If you use colors often, if you're into colorful makeup and you like loud looks, I would definitely recommend you buying this palette. If you are not, then of course I can't recommend this to you because this is not a neutral palette. This is a super colorful, bright, duochromatic palette. I seriously will never get tired of duochromes. I love them and they're one of my favorite types of shadows to use for a lot of my looks. The bronzer was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I really love how this bronzer has a highlighter in it as well, which is really great. If you don't want to purchase a highlighter from the collection, you already have one in here. And you can also just bronze your whole face up with this and get a really nice tan look. This isn't a matte bronzer and honestly, I wouldn't contour with this. With bronzers like this that are shimmery, they are the best for warming up your face. I like the shimmer in here and I also like the purple kind of tint to it in a way. You can't really tell, but if you look very closely, there is a glow to the skin after applying the bronzer. My third favorite from the collection was the Mystical Effect Setting and Refreshing Spray. This feels so good on the skin and I do feel that freshness that it gives when you mist it onto your face. You can feel it and it smells so good. It kind of has like a citrus smell to it and I love it. I think it is so pretty too. The packaging is amazing. I own a lot of rainbow highlights. I've tried a lot of rainbow highlights and a lot of them are very dark when it comes to the purple and blue shades in them that they look like streaks on the face. But this one actually is very pretty and it doesn't look streaky. This makes the look a unicorn look if you want me to be honest with you. This really takes it there. And this definitely was one of my favorites. The La Creme lipsticks definitely pack more of a pop of color than the lip toppers. I really loved the Unicorn Tears lipstick. That's my favorite one out of all four of these. I would say Fairy Tears is my second favorite. I love the lavender lip look with this eye look. I think it's really beautiful and it does complement the palette really nicely. All of these swatched so beautiful. They are more of a creamy, shiny lipstick finish. I would say the transforming lip toppers are more for someone that is into glosses. So if you like lip gloss, I would get one of these. They're a very sheared out version of the lipstick. So if you want something a little bit more subtle that is more glossy, these are definitely for you, but they also look very nice on top of the lipstick that it's paired with. So closing out this video, you guys know how I feel about Too Faced. They're one of my favorite brands and I'm really happy that they sent me this collection. All my opinions are my own and I really do love this collection. I'm obsessed with unicorns and magical things and also colors. So of course I was gonna really like it. I don't expect you guys to purchase everything from this collection, but I think that most of these products are reasonably priced and getting one of them would be really nice. If I could recommend one, I would say the eyeshadow palette is really fun and I also really love the bronzer. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me today. I hope you loved it. Be sure you like this video before you go. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope your day is amazing and I will see you in my next tutorial.